Left center of the fairway is a good play here to a slightly elevated green. There is a false front and you'll want to add a half club to a club to be able to get to the center of the green. The second hole, the tee ball, is a risk reward. If you aim to the right side of the bunker, you will have a short club in, but to be safe, you'll want to aim to the center or left side of the fairway bunker. If you feel like you can't reach the green, there is plenty of room left. This is a short par 3, but be careful. Uh, you'll want to play a little bit longer than you think. There's always a swirling wind on this short par 3. Center of the green again. If you aim to the right side of the green, you'll want to add a club. This is a dogleg left par 5. If you're hitting from a shoot, you will see pine trees through the fairway. That is your target. You'll want to hit your second shot between 160 and 180 yards to avoid the big tree in the fairway, which will leave you a short club into a three-tiered green. This is a short par four with a wide fairway. Right center of the fairway is your best play into this green. It is a large green uh, with many different sections. Par 3 with water left. The bunkers appear to be against the green. They are not. You do have room. If you just carry the bunkers, you will, the ball should roll to the front of the green to, or to the center. There is a bell out to the right side of the green. Fairway bunker would be your target with your tee ball. You cannot reach it. It is a great target bunker though. To a two-tier green, if the hole is cut on the front, you may want to play short. We have a dogleg right par 4. You'll want to avoid the fairway bunker on the right. Left center of the fairway for your tee ball opens up the hole to a narrow front green guarded by bunker left and right. Long is good here. It's easier to chip back. This is a great par 5. The fairway is very wide. The fairway is a must. You have water running down the right side, fairway bunker on the left. Choose a club that will get you past the fairway bunker on the left. This will leave you a short club into this green. Be careful though, there is wind coming off the water to a slightly elevated green. This hole has bunkers on the right side of the fairway. The closer you can get to them though, the fairway does slope right to left, you will gain yardage. To a green, 
that is guarded by a bunker and water. Right side of the green does allow the ball to feed to the center. Number 11 gives you two options. You can play this hole as a regular par 4 or you can play it as a drivable par 4. If you're playing from the left side, which is a regular par 4, there is a fairway bunker that you'll want to try to carry for a short club into your green. If you're playing from the short side of the tee, you, there is a fairway bunker about 120 yards short of the green that you'll want to carry again for the best angle into that green. This is a par 5, fairway bunker right, left side of the fairway is a great angle to get past Arnie's Oak. From there you will have 130 to 140 yards into a green that has water left, bunker behind. This is a par 3 with water to carry. There is also a bunker to carry just short of the green. If the flag is back right, try to hit the center of the green to let the ball feed down to the back right of the green. If the flag is short, you may want to play short here. This you have two angles to attack this fairway. You can go the safe route and aim to the fairway bunker on the left. If you want to take the more dangerous route, aim down the right side to gain yardage to have a shorter club into this green that works left to right. Off the tee, you'll want to avoid the fairway bunker on the left side. You have plenty of room right to this island green that is a very large green. Look for your hole location for your yardage into this green. You'll want to try to avoid the trees on the right side for your tee ball. This is a large fairway running left. Dog leg right. For your layup, you'll want to, this is a risk reward, you will want to either carry the fairway bunker or lay up short of it to a narrow green that goes out towards the marsh. Seventeen is our signature hole with water left and right. Your target is long here. The green gets wider as you get deeper into the green. You do have a slight bell out area back left. This is our finishing hole that runs along the marsh. A large fairway. Right center of the fairway gives you the best angle into this green. Back right pin, you'll want to aim long left. A short flag, make sure you stay short of this green. 